Hey everyone, Ash here with the Better Than Yesterday blog. How about we break the myth that you can only go to college by getting in debt? Whether you are a parent wanting to cash flow your child's college, or you are a student wanting to graduate debt free, it's going to be hard work, but totally worth it. Don't forget to download the college cash flow template to start making your game plan. Figuring the cost of college is the first place to start. Because how can you make a game plan when you don't know what the end of the game is supposed to look like? On the college template, the first page has a four-year budget plan. This covers the usual college costs. You know, tuition, books, room and board, stuff like that. Researching your college website will give you a good idea on the costs. Of course, these will just be estimates, but they will give you reliable numbers to budget for. Now let's figure how much cash you can save up for school. Stashing away cash for college is a great way to decrease your cost, but it probably won't be a huge decrease if you're short on time. But don't worry, there's other options. Let's see what the next one is. I know you were hoping I wouldn't bring this up, but working during college can actually be beneficial for academic performance. Working a part-time job, you know, less than 20 hours a week during college has been known to reflect in higher grades than students who aren't employed. Now that you have your income figured out, let's get on a budget. Sticking to a budget will help you remain intentional with your spending habits throughout college. If you've been around the college game for a while, you've probably heard of the FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid. Filling out the FAFSA will determine how much aid you qualify for, and this aid is put towards your college attendance. Depending on your financial situation and the schools you're considering, you may be able to cover your entire education through grants and aid. So you know how much college is gonna cost, how much cash you'll have before and during college, and how much federal aid you'll receive. It's time to make up that difference with scholarships and grants. So first, do a quick calculation. Your total college cost, minus your cash on hand, minus your income that you're gonna receive during school, minus your federal aid, and whatever's left over is your goal for scholarships and grants. On the second page of the college cash flow template, you can start filling out scholarships and grants to apply for to reach your goal. Going to college debt-free is serious work, and you should treat it as such. Just because you're gonna graduate debt-free doesn't mean it's gonna be an easy street. Be prepared for the challenge and face it head first. Once you have your plan in place, you will see that it is achievable. You just have to stick to the plan.